Who's this Jackie? What's her Jackie background? Redmond. Jackie Redmond. Hockey. Oh yeah. She's worked for them for years, but but not on like on 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 some of the streaming stuff. Mm. But she's um she's worked she works for the NHL Network. I mean, she's been around for a long, long time. So she's so, like really good. Um, I, I can't. I don't. I, I, I'm talking I, outside of WWE, like when she does hockey. Um, I, you know, I have seen her on hockey, but it's like I haven't seen a lot of her. I as I try to remember because I really wasn't like. I think that her personality on hockey is is pretty good. So yeah, but she doesn't. She doesn't announce hockey. She does like um, um, segments. You know what I mean? Like uh, whatever. But yeah, yeah. I think she's. I think she's good on hockey. Yeah. Well, all I know is uh, she was there to interview Cody, and then she was there for another segment where she interviewed Rick Shea later. And man, you know, some things about WWE are so much better since uh, Triple H took over. But man, I mean, I don't know what her background is. I've never seen her do anything else. But they just gave her a script, and she just had to read it in the most wooden manner possible. Well, you 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 talked to um, oh, what's her name? The yes. One uh, um. Anyway, Dasha. 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 Incredible. She explained it all. She explained it all. I know, but like the, my my point is, and this was my point years ago with Dasha as well. It's like if you just want them to read generic words in a generic manner. Why do you bother hiring someone who's actually really good and pay them tons of money when you could probably find any good-looking person and pay them, like, 40 bucks an hour, and they could do the exact job that you want them to do? Like, if you're going to pay someone that kind of money that has a kind of experience, like, let them go out there and be good at it. Why? What a waste of money. <laughs> That's Right? Stupid. Well, the whole thing is they don't want them to upstage the talent. So just hire some random person for forty dollars an hour. Give them the cue card and let them go out there and be bland. You know what they should do is hire a robot. It may as well. You know, hire the thing where I go through the the supermarket and buy my own stuff when it tells me to put my card in. Hire someone like that. <laughs> it may as well. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So Cody came out for a promo. So maybe next week they can hire someone from. Well, like I was the hoping that he would go out for the promo, and Jackie would have said something like, "Please insert your card now." <laughs> and then he could say, "I'm still waiting on Brock Lesnar after Night of Champions." <laughs> he said, "Brock broke my arm. I busted his face. There's no way we can continue to coexist on Raw." So he wants another shot at him, but that was so it. He just walked away. So are they going to do like a loser leave town match? Well, I don't know. They, I mean. The problem is Brock is a free agent. He can do whatever he wants. So I don't think that works. Even if Brock leaves town, he can still go back to town. Is the way it's. Well, what if he? What if he has to? Like he has to go to SmackDown if he loses. Well, you could do that. Okay, but I don't uh, think. I, I mean, just from the wording, because they were supposed to do a gimmick, but they hadn't decided what the gimmick was. Yeah, you could do loser leaves town. We had Valhalla and the Viking Raiders versus Alpha Academy and Maxine, and uh, Maxine pinned. Val Hollow with a cradle out of the corner. And man, I gotta I gotta give Maxine credit. She's doing this ang angle really well. Dude, some people get put in a situation that is ridiculous. And she is being put in a position which is ridiculous. She's she's Chad Gable's protege. So she has to do the shoosh thing. And she's she's Otis's protege. So like I mean, this is ridiculous. But she goes out there and she gives it like two hundred percent. She's out there. She's wiggling around like Otis. She tried to do the worm. I mean, she, she did not half-ass this at all. When she, she like, gave it her all. When she finally hits the worm, the place is going to go crazy. Oh, yeah. She got yeah, cut yeah. off here, neat in the corner. Yeah, they, they're setting that, that spot up, yeah. But she still ended up cradling her and pinning her. So, man, I can't say enough good things about Maxine because a lot of people would get this role and they would just be like, I hate my life, and I'm going to kind of do what I'm supposed to do, but whatever. Man, she is doing it. So yeah. we had clips of the Logan brawl. And then we had Rhea and Natty, and this match was really good. It was real. You know what? This, you know, the, this, this, this is the, 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 the one thing about this match. So, so, so they're having a, a regular match, and they go to the commercial. So I'm watching the commercial, and it's like, it's really good, and there's no sound. And it's just like, I know the crowd's reacting because this is, like, really good stuff, right? 
and there's no sound, and there's no sound. There's something. I come back, there's a lot of sound, and this is on a show where, you know, there's not been a lot of sound during matches. So it's just like, ah, they freaking, you know, like, oh, we saw all this not good wrestling on this show, and then when we get some really good wrestling, you know, it's during commercial break. But when they came back, they went several more minutes, and it was really good. This was the best match on the show. Oh, yeah. They had a they had an excellent TV match. They got the crowd. They, they It was hard-hitting. They did all sorts of good stuff. And then finally, uh, Rhea hit the headbutt, deadlifted her into the riptide, pinned her. Very good. Very, very good match. Very, very good match. Yeah, and best then, women's match on on TV in a while. A long time. Yeah. And then yeah. Rhea beat Certainly her down that, Char- that Charlotte Osaka match on Friday night. Yes. What a horrible finish. Yeah. Liv and Raquel made the save. It looked to me like they're going to do Rhea and um, Raquel. At some point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We had, I don't know if it's SummerSlam or not, but but um, that's what it looked like. Could do um, Io Sky as well, or Io Sky cash in at some point, because they they Io Sky and and um, and uh, Rhea Ripley had a whatever you know backstage little deal. We had Chomp and Miz cutting promos about a match next week, which will be no, a no DQ match. Yep. We had Riddle and Giovanni Vinci, which literally it was a minute. Riddle pinned him with a cradle. Before they could even hit his music, Kaiser hit the ring. Drew McIntyre's music hit. And uh, they're going to be doing Drew and Ricochet versus Imperium Drew, next Drew week. And, Drew and Riddle. Yeah. What did I say? Drew and Riddle against, uh, which will probably be Vinci and Kaiser next week, yeah. Yes. And then the main event was Seth and Dom. And the match itself was, you know, it was a good match. It was, it was a good match. But good man, match. this finish. I mean, he goes for the uh, stomp, and Priest just hits the ring and hits South of Heaven for the DQ. I mean, you couldn't have had a, a more lame finish. And afterwards, he just starts beating up Seth, and they're playing it up big time like, you know, he's got the briefcase, and he's going to cash in, and tonight's the night. So, uh, you know, he's he's beating him, he's beating him, he's beating him. And then finally, right when he's about to cash in, Finn Balor would not been anywhere on the show, and they claim that nobody knew where he had been for a long time. He shows up, and uh, I guess since Saturday. Since, since Saturday. But anyway, he hadn't been seen on this show. He shows up. He starts attacking Seth Rollins, beating him down. Priest starts screaming at Finn Balor. They get in a big argument. Seth manages to escape. Uh, Dom tries to stop him, so okay, Seth so gives here, him a here, pedigree here, here, here. on the floor. So here's the thing. They're idiots. You know why? Because Finn beating on him should have been a positive, not a negative. He should have gone, go beat on him, and then I'll cash in. Instead, he starts yelling at him, and they start yelling at each other, and then the guy sneaks away. Yeah. So this is like like they're trying to blame, you know, the whole thing is, you know, trying to build the split between the two of them. But it was like Finn Balor was just helping you. Yeah, I think it was the timing where, you know, he was right about to give that briefcase, and then this other dingbat comes in and... So wait 30 seconds. Well, you know, he's impatient. Let's catch yeah, well, I mean, they're setting up a split. I get it. But it's just like I'm watching it going like, why are you mad at him? Like like if he, the match had started and Finn runs in and it's DQ, right? Absolutely mad, right? Of course. But in this situation, it's like he was helping you. Beat down the guy before you cash in. Isn't that what Seth told you you're supposed to do? Isn't that, wasn't, that what, wasn't that what Seth told him at the beginning of the show? That is what he told him. Okay. Wait so. until I'm beat down and then cash in. Well, he didn't, he didn't tell him to do that. He said, you're supposed to do that. And then Priest said, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll beat you down thoroughly. But, it didn't uh, have to be him. Somebody else could. Most of the time when it's money in the bank cash in, somebody else does the beat down, right? Of course, yeah. And the guy comes yeah. in fresh. Yeah. I mean, how did Theory win the, the, that title? I don't even remember. Brock Lesnar destroyed Bobby Lashley. Oh, that's right. That's right. God. Yeah. I'm at a Father's Day retreat. We were going to go camping today, but uh, suffice to say, the weather was not uh, suitable for camping with these two youngsters, and so we rented this cabin here instead. Bug. God damn it. Eat it. Sorry. Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. That happened the last time. I swallowed a bug. I hope ah. it was a big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and you explain. I ate a bug. Come on in, Pace. Why don't you come say hi to everybody? What is all over your face? Oh my god, that's my child! Hey, Hannah, come in here, say hi to everybody! Do you got s'mores all over your face, kid? Why don't you come over here and say hi? What do you want to say? 
Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Get out of here. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to be back on Tuesday. NWA TNA episode one. Right, Hana? <laughs> She's acting like a child. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Yes, please? Uh, oh. yeah, okay, get out of here. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.